In today's episode, we're going to examine closely the Bore class submarines and try to answer the following inquiry. Are they actually the backbone of the Russian deterrence? As we know, the Soviet Union entrusted the Russian Federation with a sizable submarine force. This force had been the backbone of the Soviet Navy since the end of World War II. Submarines became even more essential in the Soviet Navy once nuclear propulsion and nuclear-armed submarine-launched ballistic missiles, or SLBMs, were available. Moreover, the Russian economy has changed drastically since 1991. As a result of this, the Russian submarine force has been seriously impacted. The Soviet Navy's incredible production rates have slowed as has the economy's poor performance, resulting in wage deficits, reduced operational pace, and considerable difficulty in disposing of retired nuclear-powered submarines. For the record, the Russian fleet consists of 217 various types of warships and 69 submarines, 45 of which are nuclear-powered. Russia's shipbuilding capacity system has started to demonstrate progressive trend in the production of numerous types of warships, including the Yasin and Bore-class submarines, which are outfitted with the most advanced equipment. Let's take a look at the Bore-class submarines. The Bore-class submarines were first launched in 1996 to replace the obsolete Typhoon-class, Kalmar-class, and Delphine-class submarines. The first Bore A-class submarine, the Kenyaz Vladimir, was launched in 2017 with gradual alterations design. Despite increasing prices, the Russian government remains committed to the upgrading effort, which is seen as crucial to maintain the nation's nuclear deterrent. The Russian Ministry of Defense announced to build two new Bore class nuclear submarines in April of this year. These submarines will deploy long-range cruise missiles and are nearly identical to the earlier Bore class submarines. More progressively, Russian Navy holds three Project 955 Bore class SSBNs. These submarines are 170 meters long and can submerge at a speed of 29 knots. Each Bulava SLBM contains multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle ballistic missiles. Specifically, a submarine of the Bore class can carry 16 ballistic RSM-56 Bulava missiles, each with four to six ballistic missiles. The Bulava SLBM is a sea-launched variant of the Topol-M that can be equipped with six to ten nuclear multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle warheads. Lastly, the Bore class is a significant improvement on its predecessor and appears to be capable of meeting Russia's submarine nuclear deterrence requirements. In short, the Bore class plays an important part in Russian nuclear deterrence. However, it is unclear whether the Russian Ministry of Defense intends to consolidate the Bore project in addition to making it a long-term budgetary solution. Thank you for watching.